I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time out to click on this video. If you haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. These videos take a lot of time and energy. If you would like to help the channel grow, please donate to my PayPal in the description box down below. And a link to my Patreon where you can receive additional content will be down there as well. Now let's get on to your video. Hello Libra, this is Craig from Hacking Spirituality, and I'm here to do a love reading on the zodiac sign of Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Not all messages will resonate. If you want a message that's going to resonate more to your own personal situation, you can always feel free to book a personal reading with me. A link to my website will be in the description box below. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So um, there could be some red flags popping up right now that you're kind of ignoring and you need to definitely take a closer look at the situation and make sure you're not getting yourself into a situation that you're going to regret in the long run with that card showing up. Um, I can get a little more clarification by pulling you a fairy oracle card real quick. vacation so um you could actually be thinking about possibly taking a vacation or just be on a mental vacation right now with uh red flags showing up and uh, the signs are cautioning you you could just be um a little out of it right now and have a need to be grounded at the current time so there's a reason for these red flags showing up and you're kind of just um throwing caution to the wind in the situation. Normally that happens when we go through a lot of trauma and stuff and anxiety starts kicking in. Uh, we'll often ignore red flags that are there just because our heart's telling us one thing. So let's go ahead and pull you three cards for your energy, Libra. What does Libra need to know? Ace of Wands. So this actually might be something fairly new. Uh, definitely passionate about it. Now, if this is career related, it's normally having passion for a new sort of job. But in a love reading, that normally comes up when you have a great deal of passion. And it, the relationship can almost be more sexually based when a card like this comes up. So let's go ahead. And that might be one of the red flags that are being ignored right now. Um, Go ahead and pull a second card for your energy. So I definitely feel like you feel passionate towards this person. Death. So the ending of one cycle and the beginning of a new one, which is great energy to pull in this. Um, you definitely could be letting go of someone right now with the death card showing up and accepting someone new that you're passionate about. You just have to definitely show caution when moving into the situation, especially if it's a sexually based relationship right now. Got a flipper for you. And four of cups. So something, I think the reason the death card came along and you are letting someone go is that I think they just left you waiting for way, way too long. And um, you're at the point where you don't even want to receive an offer from this person if they did come back. Or if they did reach out to you, it's just like something like, you know what, I don't, I'm done with this. I can't really involve myself in the situation anymore it, it pulled way too much mental strain upon me and uh, that might be the reason the vacation is coming up too for you on the positive side you could possibly have found someone new of interest or a new person of interest and you are thinking about taking a vacation with them as well um, with the ace of wands and vacation as well let's go ahead and pull three cards for their energy there's definitely some sort of offer being rejected, or if someone were to reach back out, there would be a rejection to this person. I feel like you're not willing to accept someone back into your life anymore, um, that you've been through enough, and you're really 
letting go and letting that energy die off and starting something brand new here with the Ace of Wands. So let's go ahead and pull three cards for their energy, Libra. Five of Pentacles. So this person's feeling left out in the cold and you can feel free to switch the roles if you need to. But you definitely have someone who wants nothing to do with the other person and then the other person being left out in the cold. Those cards are actually back to back next to each other. So there's um, someone who's definitely going to be rejected or has been rejected in the past. And they have this feeling of abandonment and neglect right now. They feel like they were neglected in the situation. Let's go ahead and pull two more cards for them. Juggling. Okay, so one of the reasons that you may have left this person is they were juggling, whether it be two people, um, their work and the relationship. Um, something wasn't... Your, <coughs> your needs weren't being met with this person because their energy was too scattered with them juggling in the situation. Um, I'll pull one more card for them. But I do feel like you left this person out in the cold, or they left you out in the cold because there was uh, juggling going on. Energy just wasn't being devoted. It wasn't enough for the other person to have the other one juggling like this. Um, one more card for them. Ten of Pentacles. So with the Ten of Pentacles showing up, um, it could have been work that they were juggling with. Definitely next to the Two of Pentacles, as well as um, this person could have definitely seen some sort of uh, legacy with you or definitely thought you were the one with the Ten of Pentacles showing up. And that's the reason that they're feeling rather left out in the cold in the situation. Um, if not, they were just juggling work and you. And one of the reasons they were left out in the cold was they really didn't have their priorities straight in the situation. I really hope you enjoyed your reading, Libra, and I look forward to doing your next one.